Good morning. Today is day four of our time in the Blue Mountains. The Grey Mountains today. Yesterday I didn't film anything because I just wanted to be hands-free for a bit. It was kind of like a day where we thought it was going to rain, but it didn't end up raining. So we went to a place called Engineers Cascades. Yeah, I just looked on Google Maps because before we came here, we had a list of the walks we wanted to do. But when looking on Google Maps, there was a lot more just small little points to visit. So we went to see Bushman's Cave, which was a cave they used in the 1830s for outlaws to like hide out in. Um, so it was just a short walk sort of down the cliff face a bit. And then after that, there was a waterfall called Engineer's Cascades. Same thing, just the waterfall cuts through the, the cliff face a bit and it was all hollowed out. Really cool. Before we got to the waterfall, we went out onto this lookout and you can see this big cliff face and it had houses on top of it and then later on after we went past the waterfall we were actually walking along that cliff face so that was pretty cool Anyway, we're, today we're going to go to the Grand Canyon, which is the most popular walk at the Blue Mountains. There aren't too many cars in the car park, which is good, I think, because it is raining. But it should be okay in the rain because there's no lookouts around them. So if we were doing a lookout today, you wouldn't see a thing. It wouldn't be worth it. So this is all in amongst small creeks and waterfalls and ferns and stuff. So it should be nice. How long is it? Six k's. Right. That's pretty cold. We're not used to this at all. <laughs> I said we're not used to this at all. I am, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> And this is the reason we're not going to any lookouts today. Paris and I'll take a picture. Lovely view. <laughs> If it wasn't so damn cold, we could have gone for a swim today. How cool! Oh yeah. Big boy. That's cool.
Oh, look at this. Jacket's off. Yep. Lots of stairs coming up from here, so do get warm pretty quickly. I nearly slipped. Awesome. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'm all set to get for this. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I think it's about to get pretty dark in here. What did you say? Any glow worms? Yeah. <laughs> no. There's a stack in the middle where it gets darker. Okay. Just wait till I run into it. Oh, there it is. I think this is where our ascent begins. So we've got, according to Strava, 150 meters left to go upwards. So. You ready for stars? No. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> the walk back up is absolutely brutal. I think it is. I'd go down that way. Huh? I would go down that way. Yeah, I agree. Which way, so you'd say that's um, the way we came was clockwise, so go anti clockwise? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But we still have 1k left, but it's all along this flat path, so happy days. That was beautiful. Pretty shitty day, so we are gonna spend the rest of it in bed, I think. <laughs> Is it warm? Nope. <laughs> Not yet. It's comfy and it's warm. <laughs> yeah. It's my favourite place to be at the moment. <laughs> Since when it's 20 degrees warm? Since I have a blanket on. <laughs> yeah. It's warmer than outside. Today is a Saturday and it's pretty clear we were right. The weekends are significantly busier than the weekdays. We had another little hiccup this morning. So last night when we were driving home, well, when we were driving back to the campsite, we had our lights on because it was pretty dark, the headlights, and didn't realize until about an hour and a half, two hours of being at the campsite that the headlights had been left on. So. Ryan had to um, fiddle around with the solar this morning and try and get the solar to charge the car battery 
but then the sun was coming up the wrong way so we weren't going to get any sun anyway a guy who was camped near us phil thank you phil was um able to jump start us so anyway today we are at hanging rock it's a fire trail mostly apparently the walk's pretty insignificant but the views at the end are incredible panoramic view of gross valley so we're in the car park now getting ready and we'll head off soon for those who haven't heard of hanging rock i'm sure you've seen it like in your travel pictures and stuff before it's a really popular spot to take typical instagram photos and that kind of thing um the rock hangs out over over a cliff well it is the cliff and it kind of looks like a big claw and lots of people like to get their photo taken right at the very end of it but you actually have to cross this massive gap which is apparently 80 to 100 centimeters wide but it's like a 250 meter drop straight down so it's like lots of people have to brave the gap before getting to that spot haven't decided whether I'll do it yet or not. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see it first. <laughs> so because this walk is pretty unremarkable, they do suggest um, that people ride their bikes here. So that's another option anyway. There's a lot of flies here, guys. It's necessary. Is it? It is. <laughs> Look, you can see them around the um, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah this one just crawled gross. across the street. <laughs> now you get it. <laughs> yeah, how long can you wear that for? It looks very sweaty. It's very warm, I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. Probably another five minutes. I reckon we'll be there in five minutes anyway. Yeah, you need a bombing hat for it. Yeah, I do. They'll keep away from my ears too now. Yeah, not too bad around me. Yeah, Alright, so we've finished the fire trail section. We're getting to the next section, which is pretty much the end. There's just as many people here as flies today. So definitely recommend coming on a weekday instead. And this big drop off here. How cool is that? And then we have like all this which goes all the way around. So this here is called Gross Valley. It's epic. Down there. Oh, it's massive, isn't it? Holy shit. That's what we're hoping to get to, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> that gap is really, really big. <laughs> you can't hear it's even bigger when you stand down there. Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm going to jump that gap to get to the end. Right, so we're gonna pussy out of this one. <laughs> Ryan said some things to me on the way up here that I wouldn't have thought about. Like, oh, you could get over, but what if you fall backwards? So like, that's all I'm thinking about now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all flats. Heaps. I'm not gonna lie, I knew I would regret 
bit if we if I didn't do it. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but it is what it is. I don't regret it. He doesn't regret it at all. Mm. <laughs> nah, I think if I came back, I'd definitely do it next time because I don't like that feeling. Don't often have to get it. Put it up in this tight. Yeah, don't often have. Yeah, don't often have that feeling. It's a pretty average walk, but we did see a snake actually. Um, I was too busy swatting flies away to see it and then to get the camera out. It was just slithering along the path. But other than that, nothing exciting really happened. It took us just over an hour to get there. Um, that was pretty average pace. I don't know what we have planned for the rest of the day. Probably eat something. I'm pretty hungry. Well, that's 11.3 k's done. We're back and we're going to have the best drink in the world. <sighs> On you go. Me first? Yeah. <laughs> Last time I left you, we were at Hanging Rock. We did spend a couple of days in Sydney, well, one day in Sydney, catching up with friends. Today, we're, like I said, we're back in Bathurst and we are slowly but surely making our way out of New South Wales and into oh, South Australia. We just found out that there is a leak in our grey water pipe. So Ryan's having a look at it now, so that might need a trip to Bunnings. <laughs> it's quite a chaos in here. 